スコールレディー Hey everybody, I'm Lance. Come with me, we're cruising on a four day, three night cruise from Miami, Key West to Bimini for my wife's 30th birthday party. It was incredible. So I had to do a vlog to tell y'all all about it because everybody needs to find out and experience what Virgin Voyages is doing over there. So come with me, let's go. I'm gonna tell y'all more about why you need to get on a Virgin Voyages cruise. Come with me, it's incredible, let's do it. Oh, it's coming, my friend. It's coming. Let's go! Let's go! Alright, so if you're like me and my wife when you're traveling, you like the thrill of getting to the airport at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know what, this time for her 30th birthday, we said, you know what, we're going to be on time to the airport. And you know what happened? We got there on time and our flight was delayed by four hours. <sighs> that was a little annoying, but you know what, we're going to make the best of it. It's a birthday celebration that we're having right now. So you know what we did? We celebrated the best way we know how. We went to the bar, got some drinks and started dancing in the airport. So after hours of traveling, good thing they gave us a hundred dollar credit. Shout out to that airline, so I'm not gonna tell you who it was. But after a long day of traveling, we finally got to our hotel about 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. It might've been 5 a.m. And we woke up to see the Scarlet Lady, the Virgin Voyage Cruise from the view of our hotel in Miami. It was incredible. We were so ready to get on that ship. Ah! Virgin did an incredible job with making sure that everything was a curated experience. From the point that we walked in the terminal to the part where we got into the front desk, the art, the lighting, the colors, the music, the furniture, everything was branded and it made you so eager and just curious to see what was next. So every point that we saw, it was like, oh man, it just built up that excitement to get on the ship. And so as we started to check in, we started seeing some of our friends and just the momentum just kept building all the way until we got on the ship. And to keep it honest with you, it feel like the momentum kept going the whole cruise. I can't say that about any other cruise I've been on, man. I'm gonna show you some more, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, so after you get the security, this is like a waiting room where music's We bored! Into the portal there! Let's go! <laughs> At this moment, I knew that the cruise was about to be lit. So, a tip for everybody who's cruising with Virgin. If you don't get to book for an event, a show, or for a restaurant before you get on the cruise, 
You can do it as soon as you step foot on the actual cruise. You can actually go and start to book. That's what we did. We said, look, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to book our events. We're going to book our restaurants for the full cruise so we don't have to think about it. Granted, we were in a larger group of 10 people. So everywhere we went, it was a really large group. So we had to book ours in advance, okay? So if you don't get to do it in advance, remember, you can do it as soon as you get on the boat. There will be lines, as you can see, but the lines go really fast. The people at Virgin got it down. They know what they're doing over there. This what you come on vacation to do? That's to work out in the button up. Got it. <laughs> Home was set, champagne flowing, Virgin Cruises. They had people setting the vibe everywhere you went. So they were just passing out champagne to us. Some of us had two in our hand. Some of us even had three. The energy was incredible on the boat as we set sail. But I will say the weather wasn't great the day we set sail, but that didn't stop anything. Everybody was in good spirits. You can see it out there, man. It was just contagious. I love that, love that. Be ready to take the stairs. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. E I don't know how we gonna make this work, but we gonna try. What's the capacity? <laughs> Un unknown? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Six? Y'all got it. We need, nah, we need I don't know. It, it look, look at everybody's faces. Some people are like, uh, don't get on. Some people are like, hey, it's vacation. Some people are like, oh, let's just go. I ain't gonna bounce. I ain't gonna bounce. All right, all right, all right. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> What's that? Worse. Worlds in party of ten. And our first restaurant that we went to was Test Kitchen. I think everyone who goes on the cruise needs to try out Test Kitchen because they are going to give you some five star options that you won't see at your local eateries. These are gonna be things that you may not order on the regular and they're just gonna give you a taste. So there's gonna be multiple small portions and you'll get to see that as we move forward. But it's good to go and get a taste of something that you won't get on the regular. This is what this is all about. You're going on this cruise to have an experience and Taste Kitchen is definitely one of those. It's an experience. <laughs> You still got one. So outside of us being here for my wife's 30th birthday, she's also a travel agent. And so she planned all of this. So when I told you earlier that we were putting together our hangover packs, we were literally doing that for everybody on the cruise. Also, my wife made all of us these bottles that had our names written on them. That was really cool. She loves to do that for all of her clients. So even though she planned this one herself somewhat, uh, she really worked it as well because she wants to show people a curated experience. So inside our bottles, we had some liquid IV because we were definitely going to be drinking. We had some activated charcoal and of course ibuprofen and Advil because come on, you need that after a hangover. Good thing. None of us had hangovers the whole trip. I don't know how Virgin did that for us, but hey man, it was great. It was great. So check it out. And if you have any questions about how to book with Virgin or anything like that, let me know. Write it in the comments. My wife can really work with you and get you a great deal. Because this will be if you could slowly for six hours. The soft, juicy, no black, 
just the juice. <laughs> okay? Do you come in medium rare or less? With the beef, if you do what I'm okay. If you have any allergies, you can have six horses, you just let him give you. Give you a little bit of. Absolutely. Back with a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, two and a half. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's coming, my friend. It's coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you ready also? <laughs> I thought you were going to make it up. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> It's a Spanish camera. 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 It's a Spanish we didn't love our food because it was a little different and, and our palate might not have been used to it, but we did enjoy it. So so one on one hand, I can say we didn't love it because we weren't used to the taste, but we enjoyed the experience that we have there. So shout out to Virgin for that because that was an experience that I might not have had otherwise, okay? Oh, yeah. so cute. She <laughs> That's a scarlet lady. It better be the see the reaction. Y'all can try some if y'all want. I ain't gonna no, 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 <laughs> right now, it's, it's time. Yeah, it's yeah, time. Right now. <laughs> that, you know, I was like, wait a minute. Am I on the flags and colors? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> first big event that they had was a pajama party. We were so ready for this. So check it out, man. We went into the venue and it was beautiful. I'm not gonna show too much of it because you need to experience it yourself, but it was beautiful. Everybody brought the energy to the party. Vibes unmatched. We stayed there literally maybe until about like 1, 32 in the morning. And then they had a pajama after party. After the pajama party. like. Virgin will make sure that if you came here to have a good time, they're going to facilitate that good time. But if you just want to come and relax, you can do that too. That's the beauty of it. The events roll all day and all night. So get a look at it. After the after party to the pajama party, we went to another one of the incredible restaurants. It was a pizza parlor that they had. I'm gonna plug the name like right over here and maybe show a picture or two. But the pizza parlor was incredible because it was right off the water on the edge of the boat as well. So we ended the night with pizza, vibes from our friends and everybody just enjoying themselves and waves. So that was the ending of day one. That was jam packed with stuff the whole day. I promise you it goes up from there. Because we went to sleep and woke up in Key West and there was a rainbow waiting for us after the rain. Get ready, I got the next video coming in a few days, okay? Day one, <laughs> or day two on the cruise. Came outside and it was raining a little bit, but now there's a rainbow. That's 
That's how weather is in Florida, period.